Okay, this is a quick video to show you how to add a fave icon to your blog. Uh, a fave icon, if I move this down a little bit, we can see what a fave icon is. Normally on a, a site you'll have the standard Internet Explorer or Firefox icon. Uh, a fave icon is a different icon, our own default, our own new graphic uh, to show our site. Now that will also appear when you add something to the, the favorites within Internet Explorer or Firefox that icon will appear next to your site. So it's a very good way of making your site stand out a little bit um, and indeed branding it a bit. Okay, so what we're going to do is quickly run through how to add one to your blog. The blog I'm going to add one to is Blog Tactics. Okay, uh, and I need to go into Blog Tactics into the presentation so that I can get to the theme itself and edit the theme. Uh, now while that's uploading or updating first thing I need to do is obviously I need to create a fave icon I'll do a different video to show you how to actually create a fave icon once you've created one uh, as I have already here all you need to do is FTP that up to your site so log on to your site using FTP uh, software I'm using FileZilla here again there's a video on where to get FileZilla and how to use it within mat4.com front slash videos and all I need to do is drag and drop that into the public HTML directory and it just takes a second to do because it's a small file. We scroll down, that should now appear once it's finished. It's not finished yet. There we go. Now it should appear here. There we go. Fave icon .ico. Okay. So if we go back to blog tactics and we go to the theme editor, the code that we need to actually use to put into the theme you can find a copy of the code on mat7.com under the misc page and if we scroll down it's here fave icon html for index page that's in a text file in a zip file so you can download it open it up and the file that you'll end up with will look like this except it'll say your domain name here so you need to replace that with whatever your domain name is we need to copy this bit of code Okay, and it needs to go between the head and the close head tags within your uh, web page. So we're actually going to put it in the header. Uh, that's where the head tags will appear. So I'm going to edit the header, and again, just takes a second or two to update my internet connection. Slow, slow tonight. Here we go. So what I'm looking for is those head tags. If I scroll down, uh, if I find the head tag here somewhere. I'll pause while I find it. Okay, I actually scrolled past it there. Sometimes the head tag has other bits and pieces in there as well. Uh, sometimes it'll just be head and a close bracket here. Sometimes there's other stuff in there. So you look, if it's got something else, look for the close bracket, the angle bracket close here. Uh, put another line in and then copy and paste that bit of code that we needed into there. Fave icon code with our own domain name. And then we simply need to update that file. Again, I'll pause while this uh, updates. It'll take a moment or two. Okay, it's saying file edited successfully. So we go back to the site itself and hit refresh. Now, it doesn't always appear, and to be honest, it doesn't always work for every host. It will depend sometimes on your host. Most hosts it will work with. Uh, some it takes a little while to update. Sometimes you have to hit F5 to actually do a sort of a hard refresh in the browser to get it to appear. Okay, well there's a good example of it not working on my site. It's not updating. Um, now that could be that it just needs some time before it'll pick it up, or it could be the host. Uh, what will probably happen is the next time I log onto the site, it'll appear. If not, I'll be in touch with my host to find out why the fave icon isn't working. But that's basically how you add a fave icon to your site. It is just this bit of code here, which you can download from mat7.com, misc, and it's this here. Okay. Hope you find that useful.